scheduled early release of about 1,900 inmates across Louisiana yesterday has stirred debate about safety and whether justice is being served. But what happens once those former inmates are sent back into society? Jacqueline Quinn shows us some of the efforts to help their transition. The sounds of saws, machetes, and a brush mower are the sounds of a new beginning for some who've had to serve time. I guess after we evaluate them, within 10 days they'll be working. Todd Higgins is with Black Men of Labor, a nonprofit focused on culture as well as helping anyone find a job. We met him yesterday as he was reaching out to inmates released early at the Orleans Probation Office. They come here, they get to learn how to work, how to be responsible, how to be accountable. Today we met Higgins at a job site where he's employed some former inmates. Cindy Frazier is one of them. Because once you're in there, you, you appreciate your freedom. Frazier was able to get out early by taking courses and maintaining a good standing. But now that she's out, she says there are still some things that are punishing. Once that box is checked, a lot of your options is gone. Matthew Hawthorne was also able to get out early. You have to earn a good time. It's not like you just, they just letting you go free. You earn it. Neither Frazier nor Hawthorne say they've had any violent offenses, and they spent time in prison taking courses to rehabilitate. It's a lot of labor. It's just not this. We uh, have men and women who are trained at certified auto mechanics, carpenters. Uh, small tool operators, uh, crane operators. However, there are criticisms of the early release program. Some say it's too soft on criminals. These people uh, have that second chance with us, and when they are placed in permanent uh, workforce, that shows that they've learned their lesson. But Higgins says letting people prove themselves is the ultimate road to redemption. In New Orleans, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. The inmate release program is ongoing. The bulk of the releases took place yesterday, but about two dozen other inmates will be released in the months ahead as they meet qualifications.